Hi guys. October 15, 2017, Hurricane Ophelia. Here we go. It's going to be hitting Ireland, Northern Ireland. You guys prepare for massive flooding. Scotland, prepare for massive flooding. I just heard from a subscriber who I really care about in Scotland and she plans on traveling north of where she lives in Scotland. Maybe now is not the best time to be traveling because, well, this is expected to hit you in Ireland on Monday. Oh, prepare for massive flooding, I guess, Tuesday, Wednesday in Scotland. But who knows? Uh, the trajectory seems to be hitting Ireland Friday. But when man is controlling the weather, Hell, this could stall for a couple of days. It could vanish. It could It could strengthen. It could get more and more intense. Look at this picture. This is a satellite picture of Hurricane Ophelia. Do you see the signatures of man's hand? Do you see on the periphery these lines right here? It is being geoengineered, and they geoengineer these storms on the periphery to help steer them. But do you see how level this line is, how level this line is, and do you see the other uh, defined lines right here? Signatures of frequencies steering this storm. No, it's not just the United States that gets hurricanes, I guess. Well, climate change, global warming, now is creating hurricanes that move along the Atlantic to reach Ireland, to slam into Ireland. Northern Ireland is covered with an amber warning, meaning there is a potential risk of life and property. U.S. Met, uh, UK Met Office has issued warnings that there will be life loss, damage, tiles flying off roofs. This is the trajectory. I wish my subscriber would just stay home for this week because I do believe that you guys are going to get massive flooding. Prepare now. Get the water, the food before your shelves empty. UK Met Office also issued warnings that transport may stop. Hell, flights are um, already the warning. Flight cancellations, delays up to a week. In telecast, this is the hurricane, really? Do you see how defined is this uh, line right here. There's a wall preventing this from going any further. It's so obvious that these storms are man-made and it's really unfortunate that we can't get through to our fellow citizens. I've heard from subscribers in Ireland, in Scotland, in Australia, in the Netherlands, in Germany, in uh, so many countries that you guys are also having a lot of problems talking to your family members, talking to your friends, talking to your neighbors about what is actually happening. See how defined that is. See all of these lines right out here. Okay, but this is the satellite picture of Hurricane Ophelia. And isn't this hurricane stretching a whole long way? Goes on and on and on. Wow. This thing is massive, isn't it? All right. Is it on radar? Let's check it out. Nope. Nowhere on radar. Not on Intellicast. How many times have we seen this? Ventu Sky 
has this hurricane. Oh, it doesn't seem to have hurricane strength winds. At least not on Ben to sky. So we all know that man is using weather as a weapon, not just in the United States. No matter how rare you can expect you can expect extreme weather events in your area because man has to create it to create the illusion that Climate change is creating all of these extreme weather events that seem to fool so many people because they just will not do the research to find out that it is an utter lie. Hurricane Ophelia, Twitter, a buzz. What emergency shelter plans are in place for our homeless citizens during Hurricane Ophelia? It's heading for Ireland. Oh, well, I just don't understand, but hey, it's climate change, it's global warming, and now we have these extreme weather events, and well, who knows what's going on? But clearly, we have to put in place rules and regulations that everybody has to abide by because we've got to save the planet. <sighs> Taxi man says to American passengers, I hope you brought your guns. There's a hurricane coming. Hurricane coming. Category three. Mainstream media in the UK has also said it's been downgraded to a hurricane two. I mean a category two. So board up, fill the sandbags, everyone into the bunker. Get your food, get your water before the shelves are empty. We're all in this together. The sick, unbelievably deranged, evil psychopaths, globalists, elitists, call them what you want. But they are using weather as a weapon to transform the world. Um, I got a, I got an email from a subscriber who lives in Scotland, someone I really care about, and she said that she's traveling up north. Maybe now is not the best time to travel up north because it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what they say. They're preparing you for damage, and damage you will get. Flights canceled. All right, so, oh, wow, Coalition 2030 Ireland and the Sustainable Development Goals. Yes, the United Nations, their project is happening all over the world. So extreme weather events will be taking place all over the world because the world's people have to get on board. This is climate change. This is global warming. And we've got to save the planet. So you all have to. You all have to do the work. You have to listen to your authorities. You have to put in place the rules and regulations. You have to abide by everything the authorities tell you to do. Otherwise, yeah, you individually will be blamed for the world blowing up due to climate change. If you don't know anything about these sustainable development goals, 17 goals to transform the world, there, it's right smack in your face, transforming the world. To save it from climate change? No. To bring it in for these sick psychopathic globalists so that they can enslave the world. End poverty. Protect the planet. Ensure prosperity for all. And there will be universal income for all. And get on board and be happy about it. Think that you 
helping these elitist, sick, satanic, psychopathic globalists think that you're helping them and you can feel good about yourself. Don't do any research. Don't ever try to find out the truth. Just keep accepting the lie, no matter where you are in the world. Just keep accepting this lie that is fed to you. A lie created to destroy you. But you can feel good about yourself because you will think that you are doing something really good to help save the planet and help end poverty. There was a project started, Open Government Pioneer Project. The Open Government Pioneers Project set up to build the capacity of citizens and civil society across the United Kingdom. Scottish Council for Voluntary Organizations in partnership with the Wales Council for Voluntary Organizations Northern Ireland Environment, Environment Link has been awarded 500 euros, 500,000 euros, a big lottery fund grant to work together over two years to support people to engage and challenge their governments to serve them better. There will be a particular focus in supporting people who are not normally heard in the decisions that affect them and the connection between citizens and devolved governments of the UK home nations. The project is formally linked to the International Open Government Partnership where governments and civil society have been given an equal say in the commitments made by 70 countries to be more open. Get rid of your borders. It will use open government commitments to help people secure progress during the Sustainable Development Goals to eradicate poverty, tackle inequality, and sustain natural resources at home and abroad. You know, many of you in different countries around the world have been leaving comments that certainly express an incredul incredulity, uh, uh, express frustration, anger at Americans because we're not doing anything. We're not fighting to protect our own freedom, our own rights. But based on my conversations or my correspondence with subscribers in countries around the world, you're all facing the same exact psyche that we are here in the States. You say that your families, your friends, your neighbors are also just rolling their eyes and calling you conspiracy theorists and not caring lazy, narcissistic, self-centered, won't do any research. They're all accepting the lie about climate change. We have a massive problem with the human race. And the uh, individual in the aggregate in all of our countries has, has manifested something so sick and deranged that we, who have done the research and understand what is happening, we are too few. So we have to live the reality that the majority in all of our countries are creating for us. So I understand your anger. I feel it as well. And remember, Paul Watson, the founder of Greenpeace, remember what he said. It doesn't matter what is true. It only matters what people believe is true. And unfortunately, a lot of people are on board with all of this climate change, global warming. Oh, we need to save the planet. We need to redistribute wealth. We need to bring in a universal income so that all people will live, what, in poverty? That's how they plan on ending poverty, to bring in poverty for all of us. 
when we all get to experience it, we can just call it life, no longer call it poverty. Jim Sabisson, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, environmental journalist, former public relations office, uh, official for the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. We routinely wrote scare stories. Our press reports were more or less true. We were out to whip the public into a frenzy about the environment. We redistribute de facto the world's wealth by climate policy. Basically, it's a big mistake to discuss climate policy separately from the major themes of globalization. One has to free oneself from the illusion that international climate policy is environmental policy. This has almost nothing to do with environmental policy anymore. A high level United Nations International Panel on Climate Change Official. A quote coming out of the Club of Rome, in searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. All these dangers are caused, are caused by human intervention. And thus, the real enemy, then, is humanity itself. Believe humanity requires a common motivation, namely, a common adversary in order to realize world government. It doesn't matter if this common enemy is a real one or one invented for the purpose to bring in world government. And that is what we are all facing in all countries around the world. The real enemy, then, is humanity itself. Humanity itself is causing global warming, water shortages, and it's all a lie. So it's not just the states that will be experiencing, that has been experiencing extreme weather events. I just posted on my Google Plus page, major flooding in Vietnam if my Google Plus page will come up, yes, everything is just collapsing in my life. Car, computer, going down. Here. Um, let's see. Can't even scroll. Right here. Massive flooding. Vietnam. Death toll from worse. Vietnam floods. Can't get anything working, so <laughs> we're going down. We're all going down because we can't get through to our fellow citizens in our respective countries. I can't, this is just the way my computer works. deployed amid rescue operations, fires in California, flooding in Houston, Puerto Rico, what, what's going on in Puerto Rico, Vietnam, hurricanes about to hit Ireland, massive flooding, Portugal on fire again, 
we're at war. And every one of our respective citizens, fellow citizens in respective countries are complicit. They are the enemy, those who will not ever do anything to seek the truth the irresponsible, self-centered, dead, dead people, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. They create our reality along with the elitist, psychopathic globalists using weather as a weapon.